Hi. What's the theme for today? We're all in this together. Who are we? We are women over 55, and together we are an awesome force in the world. Hi, I'm Sarah Hart, and this is Prime Spark, designed for women over 55. I would like to read the mission because I would like you to understand what this is about. We are women over 55. We will be seen for who we are. We are dynamic, involved, contributing, powerful, desirable, and vital. We will be included in the highest levels of decision-making, planning, forecasting, we will be revered as indispensable matriarchs of our families. We will be sought after for prime roles in all media. We will step proudly into our advancing years, knowing that we have made major contributions to our families, our communities, and the world, and will continue to do so for many years ahead. It is our time. If you'd like to know more about Prime Spark, please go to www.primesparkwomen.com. You can read all about us there. It's really exciting. Announcement. <laughs> this is the third week of my book launch of my book, Prime Spark, Women Over 55. It's our time. This is a wonderful book, a wonderful book. I'd love you to get the book. It's on Amazon. People keep asking me, Sarah, why are you having a four week book launch? And I say, well, why not? We're living in unique times and unique times call for unique responses. And so this is a unique response. I published another book two, three years ago and we had a wonderful book launch. There were lots of people. We had wine and cheese and I signed books and hugged people and everybody congratulated me and I took it all in and they had a good time and it was wonderful. But we can't do that now. And so I decided I would go on Facebook Live and have my book lunch. But one week just didn't seem like enough. So I decided to do it for four weeks and this is the third week. So I'm really glad you're here. I would like to um, explain the book, read a little book, bit, and then ask a question. So the book is actually a workbook, it has 30 questions designed for women to work through one question a day for 30 days. So what I'm going to do is read a little bit of the book and then we'll give you a question and we'll talk about the question. So this is the introduction to the book, just to give you a sense of what it's like. Welcome to Prime Spark. I'm so happy you're here. My deep desire is that you feel we are on a journey together as you go through this book. What we have to do at this time is monumental. I know that sounds dramatic and I firmly believe it. We are on the cusp of a major change and we need to be leading the way. As a woman over 55, it is our time, it is your time. 
It is our time to step out and demand to be seen for who we are. We are not just older women as our society tries to portray us. We are vital, contributing, and willing to step forward. This book is all about you. The dream I hold for you is that you're ready to step forward and make a difference in whatever way is important to you. Because of the negative messages we receive every day, you may not be feeling that way right now. But it is who you are. It is who you're meant to be at this time in your life. Our mission is to change the way our society sees us. And to do that, we need to take our rightful place in the world. Like many of us, I have continued working past the normal retirement time. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I'm not ready to retire. I'm doing this because this mission is too important to me. You are too important to me. For over 40 years, my work has been to help people become more productive, happier, and more of who they are meant to be. At this point in my life, I see how we as older women still are seen and treated, and it is not acceptable. It must change, and it must begin to change now. In order for how we are seen and how we are treated to change, many of us need to change. We need to be clear about who we are, where we are going, what special gifts we have that the world needs and that we'd love to share. We must be willing to stand up in some uncomfortable situations and say that how we're being treated and what is being said is not acceptable. We need to step out and be the change we wish to see, as Gandhi said. How do we do that? That is exactly what this book is about. As you go through the book day by day, you will become clearer and clearer about who you are at this time in your life and what spark will take you forward into the life you're dreaming about. Just stick with it. Just keep going. So that's the introduction. And now I would like to read a question and then we'll talk about the question. This is question 18. Think of the last time you were ignored or belittled because of your gender and or age. In retrospect, what did you learn from that experience? Which of your old beliefs or ways of thinking were highlighted? Now what can you say you learned from that experience? So I'll give you an example. A couple years ago, I went to a doctor because my calves were really hurting when I walked and I wanted this doctor to help me um, figure out the hurt so I could keep walking. He came into his office. I was there. He looked at the laptop that he was carrying around with him, probably a tablet, saw all my details, who I am, how old I am, what the problem was, I was saying, da, 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 da. He never once looked at me. He never once looked at my face and my eyes, never. He asked what the problem was and I explained that my legs hurt in the calves when I walked and I wanted him to help me figure that out. And he said, well, how much do you walk? And I said, well, I like to walk 
about 10,000 steps a day, you know, one, two, three miles, whatever time I have. And he said, oh, I have patients who can't walk from their chair to the mailbox to get their mail. I looked at him with a very stony face, which of course he didn't see because he wasn't looking at me the whole time. And then he said, well, what you should do is find a walking path where there are benches so you can sit down. Hmm. What I didn't say was, look, George, last year I did the California AIDS life cycle ride which is a bicycle ride from San Francisco to Los Angeles, 545 miles. Do not tell me to find a walking route with benches. I didn't say that. He gave me papers to take out to the receptionist to make a follow-up visit. I gave them to the receptionist um, and I said, I would like to make a visit, but I don't want it with him. She looked a little startled, but made an appointment for me with someone else. What did I learn from that? I learned two things. One, I relearned. I've known this for many years, but it was highlighted. We have to take control of our own health care. We can't depend on a doctor to do it. I've learned this and I have fired at least three doctors, not for their supposed medical expertise, but because of the way they were treating me. So I learned that and I took that step again. What else did I learn? I learned that I wish I had said to him what I thought. And I learned that I will never, ever do that again. I will never be treated that way again and not say something. That was the last time. That's over. That's done. I won't do it anymore. I will try to figure out how to say it in a way that is as non-accusing as possible because if the person gets so defensive he can't hear it, it won't do any good. But I will say it. So that's what I learned. So you can think about a time or times for yourself. I'm sure we all have times that we can mention. So that's what that question is. And those are the questions that are in the book. Next week will be the fourth week of my book lunch. This is the book. I love the book. It's a beautiful book. As I said last week, my mother would say, Sarah, you can't say that about your own book but I do love the book. It's on Amazon. You'll love it. And please be here next week, same time. I will be offering you an opportunity to work in small groups with me and some other women and work through the book together online. We'll have so much learning and we'll have a lot of fun. I don't do things voluntarily that aren't fun, if I can help it. So we'll have a lot of learning, we'll have a lot of personal time, and we'll have fun. If you know of anyone else who you think would enjoy this and for whom Prime Spark would be meaningful, please tell them about it. And please be here next week. And that is my final book lunch week, I promise. This is Prime Spark. I am Sarah Hart. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.